Hello there, this is DBT and this Art of Runes. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt 8. And today, we're gonna be talking about the new car hunt that just began today, which is for the car you see on the screen right now. We're also gonna have a look at the crazy sale that is going on at the moment. I mean, crazy if you have saved, that is. And we'll do some gameplay with the car hunt's car because, well, gameplay is fun but before we jump into any of that if you enjoy my content hit the like button and make sure to be subscribed to the channel because remember i post daily so there's there's always something to watch over here but all right let's start this up so i'm gonna show you the car hunt but as usual it's not super useful for for me to show you the car hunt on my main account because it's stuff that i have instead i'm gonna show it to you on my other account that is completely empty and here we go man i still don't know how you guys deal with the pop-up ads i just opened it and click somewhere and then click back and i got an ad oh this is so anyway so the car hunt the main car for the for this hunt is going to be the conix ccxr trevita funny little bit of information if you look at the colors of this car it doesn't have any color options now you know that i'm not a big fan of this but it makes ever so slightly tiny bit of sense because the name of this car means three white. That's what it means. So it, it kind of makes sense that the car is white, but should it have three different versions of white? Like white, whiter, and super white? I don't know. But anyway, so this is a car of a rank of 1858. How good or bad is it? I honestly am not 100% sure. Because while I do have this car and I eventually brought it out, I really haven't driven it a whole lot, so I don't know. But don't worry, at some other point later on, there's going to be a protest. Not in this video, though. This video, I'm going to test it in Master Season just for the sake of playing a little bit. But you know that I like doing protests in, um, in Classic Season, so there's that. But anyway, so that is the car. If you go premium, which is the price of about 10 US dollars, so as usual, I'm not... I'm not advising anybody or trying to convince anybody to spend money in the game, just providing information as to what's being sold at the moment. But there's also a free car in tier 14, which is the Porsche 959, a car of a rank of 1232. Now, while this is a class D car, this is the end of bracket type of car, which means that is the highest rank of this bracket. These cars are relatively rare, not like especially rare, but you know, in general, you can expect cars that instead of being 12, 29, 30, or 31, 32 is supposed to be the best performing ones in that bracket. Now, that's not always the case, so keep that in mind, but in theory, this is a good car. Have I driven this car? No. I'm not even sure if I own it on my other account, but yeah, if I own it, I probably don't have it upgraded. If I have it upgraded, I've never used it. I'll tell you that much. So yeah, that is what you can get in the car hunt. Now, honestly, I don't believe that... I mean, regardless of this is a good or a bad car, I think this is a relatively easy car to get because if i remember correctly this is one that you can get from the multiplayer store you don't need to buy it for premium over here so long as you wait wait for long enough this should show back in the multiplayer rotation um you know in the shop if you go over there to world series right now the car on sale is this one right the mclaren x2 but sometimes this would be the trevita so let me go back and let me get an ad probably right uh no ad wow unbelievable all right so yeah, the car hunt in general, eh, like I said, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you to, to go for it, but at least grind to tier 14 and get your free car, because hey, a free car is a free car, right? Whether you're going to use it or not, might as well get it. You might need it at some point. One day you may wake up and think, oh, I like Porsches now. I should use that Porsche. So there you go. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about is the crazy sale that it's going, crazy sale that is going right now. Wait, I don't actually see the red thingies over here. What's going on? okay yeah there they are all right let me let me filter by sale and at the very start of the video i did say that this would be a good sell if you have saved your resources yeah so you filter here by sale and there you go right so you can see that there's a total of 105 cars that are currently on sale that's crazy and m the vast majority of them are for tokens now remember that is nothing surprising in the sense that the, this game has made it clear that they want to sell the cars for tokens. So that's not a big surprise. And now you can get tokens relatively easy in a free-to-play manner. Even just playing some multiplayer daily, you're going to get tokens. The thing about it is saving them. So, all right, let's have a quick look. We got the Datsun 20, 280Z, uh, Camaro Z28. Some of these cars aren't... Well, I hear that this is a very good car for this bracket. But it's such a low bracket that I, I don't know, man. And besides, the sale is for 10%. Now, here's where, where, where it comes when I'm talking about the sale. 
sell for 10% off, it's well, 10% off, right? It, it, it helps a tiny little bit. But what's important is some cars that are made available for purchase, not so much the common cars that have 10% discount. No, no, no. The important thing about the seller is the cars that have been made available. Now, I honestly don't know uh, that, oh, is this car normally on, on, on the garage for purchase or no? I don't know. I think this is a common one though. Um, oh, for five vouchers. <laughs> um but now so yeah some of these cars again i'm just gonna go through them so you can see which cars are available in the sale but the important part is showing something like this this is a rare car that is not normally for sale at all i purchased it for like one or two dollars i remember during the the wally event i think um but yeah you can get it now for just 180 tokens again it's not a car that is normally available at all so it's not the fact that it's not 200 but 180 no it's the fact that you can buy it at all with these tokens that's what matters uh, we got the Atron Special Edition. I think that's not often available either. Um, let's see. The Shelby Cobra. I, th I mean, I don't know. I think it's rare, but honestly, I'm not sure. BMW. That, that is kind of an in interesting thing that a bunch of special editions are available. And that's super dope. Um, so again, I'm not going to read every single car. I'm just scrolling through them. Uh, this is a car that I think has not been, um, been made available for free properly? I don't believe so, I could be wrong, but hey, this is a car that definitely was sold for a premium some time ago, so that's another one. The Beltoise, nah, the Beltoise was a completely free car, so if you don't have it, I mean, eh. Um, oh, I like this car, actually I do believe that this is a very good performer on its brackets. Um, this is a car that is actually not available often to purchase either, so this is a rare car that you could also get. Um, and we're only on Class E so far, man. I tell you, once we get a little bit further... Oh, what a beauty of a car. Though I think it's coming. Um, once we get to the higher classes is when you'll see why I am like, damn, this is a good thing. This is another special edition car. Honestly, this car in general, I don't know. It performs okay. It has really great nitro. But just look at this car. It's absolutely bonkers. If I didn't have it, I would instantly buy it. But I already have it, so it's fine. Um, as a modern advantage, that's fine. Uh, Lotus ER9, I believe this is another rare-ish car. So obviously we're going pretty considerably high in the price over here because we're talking about higher ranked cars. That makes sense, right? But yeah, that's what I'm saying that people, you need to save some resources. Don't spend to go broke every single time. Um, so I think all of this come on this. I'm not sure if it's coming or not. The Gangster Vegas. Oh, this is, uh, from what I hear, this is also a fantastic car for the bracket. Like proper, almost, almost, if not a straight up king level. So, yes, there's, that's another interesting car, um, even though it's a fantasy car, but still. Uh, oh, look at this beauty, the Husaria GT. Oh, I love this car. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so again, I don't, I don't know which, specifically which of these. Oh, there's a Cadillac 16. Uh, okay, uh, I, I have some feelings about this car, but it, it's fine. Um, I don't know exactly which of all of these cars are normally not on sale, but I do know of a few. So, yes, things to keep in mind. The tech rules, what a cool looking car, and yet what a terrible performance it has. Oh, well, I do have it brought out. Have I ever done a video on it? I'm not sure. Exotic rides, Lotus and my Oh, this is another car that was recently for a premium, if I remember correctly. Well, recently, like a year ago or so. Maybe less than that. But yeah, there it is. Um, nah, okay, fine. The Monza for them Ferrari lovers. Uh, Corvette Stingray. Oh, this. Look at this thing. The Nissan Skyline GTR R34 Special Edition. Now, this is a special edition car from a couple years ago. It's for the year of the Tiger. Uh, yeah, what says Tiger Skyline. Everybody had trouble reading this. I, I only know it says that. I, it's not that I can really recognize the all of the letters. But yeah, everybody was like, what is that supposed to say? And someone is like, Sky, uh, Skyline. Oh... It still looks pretty dope. I think the livery is interesting enough. It doesn't have straight up the, the animal printed like some of the older special edition cars, but still looks super dope. And that wing, oh man, it's a double wing for the wing. Double wing for the wing. Win, wing, win. Um, for the challenge, Evo, the Aventador. I don't know if this car is often normally purchasable for, for well, that you can purchase on the store or is this, I don't know. Uh, I mean, in the garage. I got the Zenvo TSRS. This one I had to pay for. I had to pay in a, in a car hunt, so now you can get it for tokens. 675 LT, SEC Ultimate Aero. Um, and so I think it's a bit of a rare car. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe it's a bit of a rare car. So there's that. The Neo EP9. This is actually um, another car that 
I, as far as I know, has only been made available for premium. I mean, I, like a week ago, it was still on this same sale, right? So for either vouchers or for tokens. So yes, uh, we got the, the Tomato P72, nice. The Kunta Shell PI, ooh. Uh, for Zilla, if you missed your chance to get the Forzilla for 1,000 tokens so during its special event, now you can get it for 5,000. Um, and again, it's it, it's not that the discount of 10% is insane. It's the fact that this car is normally not in the garage. That's what matters about this, uh, this sale. We got the Victor. Oh! <laughs> the McLaren F1 XP5, a car that I've been eyeing for a very long time. I'm really on the fence if I should buy it. Um, the Edel Design Zero Uno, pretty decent car in this bracket. The SC20, really good car in the bracket. Uh, 720S GT3X, pretty, pretty, I would say, decent to good car. Look at this thing, holy moly. The, the, one of the kings of Class A is being sold for tokens. This is never available under any circumstance. I think it was only during its festival, and never again was it available. Well, maybe some other way, but definitely not a, a key. So this is, if you have seen this car and you've been like, oh my God, why is that car so strong? When am I gonna get it? This is your opportunity for five, 5,400 uh, 5, tokens, you can get it. Man, if I didn't have it, I would consider it. Though I don't love the look of the car, but hey, if you really like Camaros or you just like overpowered cars, there you go. Um, then we got the Arash AF Falcon Edition. This is also a very rare car. I don't remember. I definitely win premium for it, and that's how I have it. But man, this is a really good car and sounds pretty dope. Uh, McLaren Elba, eh. I've never liked that car. Eva Evaya, eh. Oh, Jesus. This is a very... Well, honestly, I don't know that it's a good performer or not, but this is an incredibly rare car. Does it even have colors? Yes, a couple of colors. This is the 50th uh, Porsche design thing, whatever. Very, very rare. I think it has only been available like once or twice. So there's that. But more interestingly, not, not the Aperta, whatever. This thing, holy moly. The Porsche 911 GT3 Average Year of the Rabbit Edition, the super long name Porsche, it's available. Again, this is a car that has only been available, as far as I know, it was available, well, last year during the, the Year of the Rabbit celebration. Then this year during the Year of the Dragon celebration, this car was made available for money and it would cost $40 to purchase. I've wanted this car for a very long time, but I was not willing to pay $40 for it. So this is definitely an opportunity. Now, the funny thing is that it doesn't have its special livery for, you know, with the with the pattern and all of that. I wish I had a screenshot, but I don't have it, the screenshot of what it should look like. But hey, this is, I believe, to my knowledge, the only um, uh, special edition car for the year of the this type of thing um, that has color options. Now, there's other special edition, but they're not for Chinese celebrations like the, the Nissan 370Z. That one has color options and... But yeah, this is the only one that has it like that. But yeah, another king of this bracket available right now. Uh, the Veyron. Oh, the Veyron Supersport. Now, I honestly don't know too much about this car. I do own it, but I have it in stock. I've been thinking of upgrading it. Because I hear that this is another crazy accelerator on this bracket. But honestly, I don't know what to tell you. I This car is exceedingly rare. You never see this car ever in multiplayer because I think it was available, again, very, very few times. And it doesn't have color options. Yay! So yeah, there we go. The the three kings of this bracket are, if I could scroll to it, yeah, there we go. The Camaro SS Independence Edition. We got the uh, 911 GT3 and the Veyron Supersport. The kings of this bracket are available for tokens right now. And then we got the ZR1, Mercedes MP425. Don't pro this car, it's gonna be bad news. <laughs> um, and the 720S, and this one, it's a rare car in the sense that you cannot purchase on the sh on the on the garage anymore. Well, other than in the sale, but you can get it through a master key. So if you have a master key, use use that instead of instead of spending this this amount. But anyway, then we move into class S, the one that I imagine most people are excited about. The class, not this particular car, but we got the Koenigsegg Gemera or Gemera. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, rank of 1858, not a very common car, it has been made available a few times, and from what I understand it's a crazy accelerator, but it's bad at everything else, so... Or at least at the handling, like, very bad handling. Is it as bad as the Vel? I have no idea, but yeah. Uh, we got the Silver Lightning, woo, this is an incredibly rare car that absolutely nobody has. Notice the sarcasm, please. Um, then we got the Torino Design Super Sport, this is actually a properly rare car. I don't think a lot of people have this car. I do, because this was my first Class S car when I started playing four years ago. It was on a festival, so I got it for free and whatnot. 
but then it was practically impossible to get. I guess through Masuki you could, but still. Uh, overall, a rare car. Is it a good car? It's okay. Nothing amazing. Uh, Ferrari 488 Pista. This is a car that normally you can get through the um, through the multiplayer shop, so don't bother. Apollo Intense Emotion. I honestly don't even know if this car is normally for sale or not, but it's a beauty. The performance, pretty good. You'll suffer a little bit with Nitro. We got the Most Lord Land Shark. Uh, the 600 LT, the Tuatara. Actually, I did snatch this um, like a week ago or, or over a week ago. It was uh, made available already. So I spent 10,000 tokens on the Tuatara. Why? Because it's an ultimate. And not because I want the performance, but because it's one of those ultimates that I'm missing. So I thought like, hey, let's get it. Uh, then we got the Aston Martin Vulcan. We got another special edition, the BXR Bailey Blade. Man, this car is... Oh, and by the way, look at that livery with the Ox. This is where my ox suit comes from during this this year of the ox. This was the the car for the festival, and the ox suit is it was a separate purchase. But yeah, anyway, pretty decent car. Not a great acceleration, kind of bad nitro, but the handling on this thing in the drift, Jesus Christ, really fun car to drive. Uh, then we got the Vision 1789. I have no idea how it performs, so there is that. Uh, McLaren Speedtail. Honestly, I've been driving the Speedtail a little bit in the Weekend Cup. That one that is a multiplayer that allows you to use cars that you don't actually own. I've been using this thing and this thing feels smooth. I'm actually enjoying it. Which is surprising because honestly, personally, the look of this car does nothing for me. Alright, it's like, yeah, whatever. But in performance, I was like, oh man, this feels fun. Not like overpowered, but fun. We got the Valkyrie. Uh, very low Nitro, so you're gonna suffer. But again, very good handling. And uh, we got the Rematz Nevera. I don't know how good or bad this car is. I think I made a protest of this, but who knows? We got the Connex Egg 1 1. This is also available through the multiplayer store, so I wouldn't uh, advise you to buy it here. Same for the Shuron. We got the Senna. Uh, Connex Egg Agera RS for. Wow! Oh, okay, because he has the discount. Okay. Well, at this point, 10% discount does really matter, right? One, you say 1,000 tokens, but I was about to tell you. The price of this thing was lower. I saw this and I was like, how is this lower than the SEC 2 Atara? Okay, okay, because this one has a 10% discount. Fair, fair. Um, we got the Racer Tachyon, Lycan Hypersport Halloween Edition. Though, honestly, I don't know. I don't believe that this comes with the Halloween decal, so there is that. Um, I mean, not that the decal does a whole lot, but hey. We got the regular Fenner, Chiron Sport 110 ANS. Um, I hear it's a good car, but I don't know. Oh, Jesus, I skipped one. The Bugatti Divo, really, really good car. Crazy acceleration, so... I mean, not king, but close to king. Uh, we got the Naran Hyper Coupe, another car that is relatively rare. And look at that wing, it's ridiculous. Uh, then we got the Deus Vajan. Jesus Christ. Well, now we know that cars of the rank of 1862, they sell for 10,000 tokens. Keep in mind that this is not an ultimate. But, from what I understand, from what people say about this car, this is like... Um, amongst the best cars in the game. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't think it's acceleration. I think it's recovery that it's insane. Um, again, I really don't know. I've never been interested in this car because it doesn't seem appealing to me. It's electric, so that's that's a bad point. And visually speaking, it's not a car that I find particularly good looking. Um, but hey, to each their own. If you like it and you want the performance, go for it. 9,000 tokens, that's what it's going to cost you. And I think that's it. Yeah. So that's the entirety of all of the sales that are available right now. Now... I do want to mention that yesterday when this sale began, there were actually less cars. Today, there's more cars. So I don't know if there's gonna they're going to keep on adding cars to the sale or not. Maybe they just uh, didn't publish the entirety of the car list that was supposed to be on sale and now it's published. Or if they indeed will be adding more cars. So my thoughts on this is, well, go for the cars that you really, 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 really want. But as I always say, don't go broke. And that brings me to my regular account. Because in the previous videos, you may have noticed that I had more tokens. I had like 20,000 tokens. What did I do so that I have lost about 10,000 tokens? A little under 10,000 tokens. Well, let me show you. First, I bought this thing. Yeah, I bought it. Now, I'm not a huge Nissan fan, much less of Skylands and all of that. I understand that it's an iconic car and whatnot. But personally, it never has meant a whole lot to me. Personally. However, like I said... This is a very cool looking car. This is one of the few special edition cars that I'm missing. So I thought, you know what? Might as well get it. And again, this car is never usually available for purchase in any way other than money. So being able to buy it for tokens, I don't know, it was like 4,000 tokens or something. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll do it. And speaking of special editions, this was my other purchase. The Porsche 911 GT3 Aero Euro Edition. 
I've wanted this car ever since I saw it. Originally, it was a Treasure Rush car, so imagine that. Obviously, I did not get the car through the Treasure Rush. Then it was made available for purchase earlier this year for 40 bucks. Yay! No, thank you. So now that I was able to buy it for about, what was it, like five or 6,000 tokens, whatever it was. It was like 5,000 tokens. Man, that makes me happy. I've been wanting this car for an extremely long amount of time. And this is one car that I'm most definitely going to be upgrading because I want to use this car. I know that it's very strong and you know that I'm not one to be driving kings, but this car looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to bring it into multiplayer from time to time just because, man, I already like the 911 GT3 RS. But this thing with the different wing and the and the black roof and all of this stuff, all the little accents, the wing being different, it looks super dope. So yes, now I own it and that's how I spent a bunch of tokens. Now, I still need to buy another car and that's going to be the McLaren. If you know me, you know what I'm talking about. You know what McLaren am I going to get to? No, 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 no. Yes. All right. <laughs> the McLaren F1 XP. I've talked about how I wanted this car for a while. And I want to buy it. Don't get me wrong. I want to buy it. But here's what I was about to say um, earlier when I said don't go broke every time. Now, obviously, when there's really good opportunities, seize the opportunity. Get whatever you can while you can. But what I'm saying about this is, in general, I, I mean, I had a bunch of tokens, obviously, because I've gone pay to win in the past before. Um, I purchased those. What, what were they called? The super sale or whatever, where they would sell you all, all currencies at the same time, including vouchers for like 20 bucks or something. And I always said that that was one of the best purchases in terms of bank for the buck. But here's what I'm saying. I could have used those tokens a long time ago. There were a bunch of cars that I could have already gotten a long time ago. Like for example, the uh, the plethora, regardless of the fact that it's not a car that I'm particularly interested on, for the sake of collection, I could have gotten it and spent 18,000 tokens on that. And right now I would basically have no tokens. But this is what I'm saying, save your currencies. Now, before I keep on talking about that, how about we get into driving the Koenigsegg 6 CCXR Trevita, because I promised I would do that. And if you're curious of the stats with the tuning kick, there it is. But yeah, I'm going to be playing in Master Season, because in Classic Season, I'm not yet in Elite. So I'm going to play it over here. But like I said, this is not a protest. This is just playing with the car a little bit. So, not a review of the car. This is just me playing with it. I'll do a protest at some other point, hopefully, before this car hunt ends. But this is just so that you see the car, hear the car, and whatnot. But yeah, so about the currencies, saving, spending, and all of that stuff and not going broke. That is the way that I always see things. And I always try to tell, well, not always, but whenever this topic comes out, um, I try to tell you guys that in general, it's a better idea to not go broke every single time. I see a lot of people that are always like, oh my God, this thing is on sale. Like, for example, when there were still cars for sale um, with Fusion Goods, right? And people being like, oh my God, this car, I want to buy it, but I'm broke. And it's like, well, yeah, but for the past, I don't know how many days you have been posting that. Oh, I just finished upgrading this car. Oh, I just upgraded and finished this car. Now, I understand, obviously, that you want to upgrade your cars. The same that you would use your tokens in buying cars and whatnot. But my point is that the way that I see things, and this is in general just good, good advice, even IRL, is don't go broke every time. Save, make sure that you have some sort of a cushion of, uh, yeah, a, a, a net... Uh, where where you can fall back to, you know? By that I mean, have a bunch of your currency saved in case something comes up. And then, treat it like it doesn't exist. Like, for example, let's let's talk about tokens, right? Because um, I've seen a bunch of people lately, because obviously being able to get tokens in general through multiplayer and gauntlet, I see a bunch of people being like, oh, I just purchased this card that cost 200 tokens. And then, oh, I bought this other card that cost another 200 tokens. Oh, I bought this car that it's another 100 tokens. Yeah, you just got three cars. But what you could have done is just save those. And now, you could have saved that and have 500 tokens from that. All right, hold on. What happened there? I won. But then again, it's Master Season. So don't take it like, oh, DBT is super skilled on this car. Amazingly good. And I was at the very front of the race. And I'm good at this race. So that's fine. So like I was saying, you could have not bought those three cars and saved those tokens, but instead you decided to go bro broke every single time. I, oh, I just got enough tokens for this. I'm going to spend them right away. And you went broke. Oh, I'm going to save a little tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Oh, I have enough for this other car. Go broke again. I don't believe that's a good thing to do. Like I said, it applies in a game, even it applies in real life. Just don't go broke every time. Have a little bit as a backup. And for example, now what is going to be your threshold to what is a good amount to have saved? It really depends on what your aim is, right? Like for example, if you have seen that there's a car on sale on Class A that you you would like to get and it's what, 5,000 tokens or something? 
then try to aim to save 5,000 tokens. Yeah, that's gonna mean that you're not gonna be able to get a bunch of little smaller cars during, I don't know, a month or however long it's gonna take. Two months, whatever. But what that does, it allows you to save a bunch and then take take advantage of whatever is available. Because one thing that I, I also try to say is that you guys should uh, consider everything that you see right now in the game temporary. Now, we don't know if, for how long this sale of the cars is going to be. But precisely because of that, you cannot rely on, oh, okay, now that the cars are on sale, and now I just need to save 5,000 tokens. Yeah, but if you don't have any tokens, guess what? There's a good chance that by the time you finish saving, this sale is going to be over. So what would have been the smarter move to have tokens already on the back? Now, you don't need to go crazy like DBT, all right? I'm going to acknowledge the fact that I do go hoarding sometimes and save too much that I end up that ends up going to waste to a certain extent. So I'm not saying to go as crazy as I do. Another first place, let's go, baby. Actually, been in a bayan. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. And the way that I do my saving, for example, is like I said, I try to have a baseline of what is what I want to have saved. And from there, any any amount that I get over that, that is what I consider. Um, spend expendable is that the word spendable expendable whatever spendable I think that I can spend it um, so let's say for example right now I'm at the 10,000 tokens threshold I don't want to go under it why because like I said the Tuatara sells for 10,000 tokens I want to get the Venom if it ever comes on sale and given that the Tuatara went on sale for 10,000 I would imagine that the Venom is also gonna if it ever goes on sale is gonna go on sale for 10,000 so that is want to have 10,000 in case that shows up. That means that I can spend whatever I have, but make sure to always have 10,000. Now, this still may backfire, right? There's always a possibility that the Venom will never go on sale, and I'm gonna regret not having bought a couple of cards that I could have bought right now. Uh, like, for example, the I'm really on the fence if I should buy the, the McLaren F1, that I've said that I've wanted it for a long time, but I really, really don't wanna go under 10,000 in case that the Venom comes up. So that's where you have to wait like, okay, what it is, what is it that I want more? Do I want the Venom, in my case, do I want the Venom more or do I want the McLaren? Well, technically I want the McLaren more, but the Venom, if it does show up for on, on a sale, you know that it's gonna be a very rare sale and it's an ultimate car and I've been wanting that also for a while. So you really need to put into, into, a, ba into a balance what is it that you want to do with your resources? What matters most to you? And for example, when I was collecting Lambos, yeah, I was going broke, but I was going broke specifically saving enough, enough to get my Lambos. That's what I was looking for. And that was completely uh, fine by me. Like, okay, you know what? I have just enough to buy. Oh, there's a rumor over here. Lovely stuff. Um, it's like, oh, now I have enough for my Lambo. I'll get my Lambo because that's my main objective. If you set your aim on something, then try to go for that thing and don't get distracted by the other little small thing like i said maybe you're aiming to save 3000 tokens because there's this card that you have seen on the store for 3000 tokens well save 3000 tokens instead of spending 200 on this one 100 and over there and that you know try to get to your objective and then from there on you can continue moving and even after you get to your objective i think it's still a wise thing to continue having some some currency on the back pocket for the sake of if something else happens because you never know none of these cells are ever announced all right we don't know when any of these cells are gonna happen and i think that was the, that is a problem for some people right now that they got caught by surprise by a sale that has a bunch of cool things but who had that those tokens saved now I'll be also completely fair, not try to just crap on, on people that don't have any tokens, because to be honest, tokens were only made available for free, what, like two months ago? Or a month ago? I don't know exactly when. But maybe just with enough luck, you, you had enough time to save 6,000 tokens for the Class A card. I don't think anybody had time to save the 10,000 tokens required, or 9,000 given the quote unquote tail uh, to buy the, the Bayan which is obviously like I said I understand that it's a fantastic car so a lot of people would want to get it so I'm not trying to say hey everybody's paying the price right now no 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 but you know I'm just using this as an opportunity to try to give you my thoughts on how I look at this whole thing of saving it's better to go for a bigger objective even if it takes longer than to be constantly spending in instant gratification that at the end of the day yeah, it feels good the moment you bought this tiny car for 100 tokens, but it's really impeding you from getting to your next or your bigger objective. So, if you want to get hard and opinion you know what to do, uh, the key phrase, for, key phrase for today is, people should listen to DBT when he says, save, don't go broke every time. First person to post it gets a hard opinion on how this works. All right, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.